What's going on? Crazy Russian 86 here. Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna make it. I don't know. I made some beef and cabbage, you know. Pretty good. I finish it off camera. I'm gonna be like a little bit like ta ta likes to do this. You see? I made it. But I'm gonna finish it off camera. Now I'm gonna drink some therapist. This is pretty expensive beer. It's pretty good though. No appointment necessary. But I'm not going to even say that much because it's pointless, especially now. Like before, when I used to have freedom. I was just like drinking when I wanted, talking to whoever I wanted, doing whatever I wanted. My life was so much better. Now. I have to deal with annoying people getting to my face all the time, and I don't like it. Well, well with chips, by the way. Pretty good. It's an easy recipe. You found it online. Chop cabbage, put some beef, onions, diced tomatoes, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper. Mix it. Put it for like 45 minutes, that's all. It's pretty good.
I've been watching a lot of weird stuff on the internet. One of those Russian psychologists talking about the problem which women have, like, one of the problems was weird. I'm talking about, and I don't know why they're showing me that stuff. Somebody asking question that I'm too shy to tell the guy that I have a kid. And I'm like, why am I watching this? And why should I be shy? And what's wrong with it? I mean, why should you feel shy about it? Like, weird stuff, you know, weird stuff. And I'm like, why am I watching this? Like certain things, like I said, I can relate to it because this is something I can relate. It's problem I used to have with me and Lydia. But that stuff, I don't know. It's weird. As far as I know, Lydia doesn't have kids, but who knows? It would be weird if she would think that I would be shy about it. But I don't know, like, I don't understand this shit. Like I said, People say, you know, it's because of the stuff you watched and then it comes to you like that, but... I mean, I was interested in psychology a little bit even before. I was watching Todd Grande and other people, maybe psych to go or whatever, but... I would never think of watching like these Russian psychologists which are coming up into my feeds. Because before I didn't even watch any Russian psychologist, you know, at all. So, it's a lot of weird shit. Some of it is pretty interesting, but chips, I'm glad I made it, you know, Two days ago, 
I talk to Tad. I highly recommend you to make that meal, cabbage with some ground beef and, you know, it's good, it's really good, it's really good. You know, I don't, I'm not really into cooking, but I'm really glad that I found that recipe online. I'm sure Todd's going to be watching, he's going to be like, wow, yeah, I need to make it too. Yeah, Todd, I would recommend you to make it, it's not difficult to make, so. I can also send you the link if you want to Todd. So mm. So good. Small happiness, but my life is shit. I'm tired of bullshit. I mean now door dash I don't have anything going on because nobody wants to give me an order because if they do I have to go there, they're gonna be asking me stupid questions, like I don't know what I'm doing, and they know I'm not gonna like it, and they know I'm not stupid, so therefore they just like, eh. You know, it's bullshit. Things used to be so much better before. I was just doing what I wanted to, nobody gave, the, gave a fuck. I've just been going to work, doing things the best I can. Yeah, some stupid people said, well, you know, people had problem with you, but hey. Sure, they're gonna have problem with you if you're not big and strong. And you don't work as fast as they like you to. But if they're gonna try to prove there's something wrong, it's only more problems. I can see that. So it's not really working out. I can't just fucking go and like work and be left alone. It would be great if I could, like I used to before. So I could be free. Because whatever they're trying to do, it's not working out. It's stupid. My mom is coming back in like two days. I will be living here till like the 1st of February. After that, I don't know. Maybe I have to go back where I used to live, but. I want to get the fuck out of here. I'm tired. So get the fuck out of here and live how I used to live before when I was all by myself working 60, 70 hours a week.
You know, it's good to feel a little buzz, but you know, some people think, oh, you shouldn't be drinking. And I decide to drink therapist now malt liquor. It's more expensive because more alcohol, because more taste. It actually makes me feel better, but I also would feel better if people will get the fuck out of my place and I would be free like I used to be. That would make me feel good because I really don't want to be bothered. Like I would feel great if I could just Live how I used to live. Just work the best I can. Be free. Get my money. Spend it on my woman. Yeah, people's gonna think, oh, this guy is weird. But so fucking what? I don't fucking care. At least, you know, I'll be making progress and getting bigger and stronger and doing the job. And, you know, nobody will be telling me anything, so... That's why I want. And people don't want to give it to me because they want to do something with me and shit is not working because I don't fucking care. I'm only kissing up to people because I don't want to get fired. But. Hey, this is what it is. I looking back and I'm reminiscing like damn it was better. Like I used to hang out with Todd, Chad, Charlie. People used to treat me like an individual, I could be myself, do my thing, have fun, get drunk. Fuck. I used to have a better life than what I'm having now. And people talking about getting upgraded, having kids, this, that. I mean, look, if I don't have a lot of money, if I don't work a lot, and I have to deal with the bullshit, how the fuck I'm going to be in the position of having kids? There's no way. People trying to tell me, you know, how to do this or that. What's the point? It's even going to be the same thing. I've been watching some people and talking about, like, okay, if you want to kiss a girl, you need to look at the eyes first, then look at the mouth, then to the eyes, so then, you know, she's going to know that you think about kissing her. Let me tell you something. When I kissed Lydia, I didn't know about it, I didn't think about it, I just went for it, and we did it, and the fact that she didn't turn her face away from me, and she didn't tell me, what you doing, motherfucker? That's it. That's all that matters, you know? That was a rap right there. And I didn't like what she used to tell me before. And she would have sex with me if I was normal. Well, like, what the fuck? Like, you, you shouldn't care. I told you that you shouldn't fucking care. How come if I'm not normal, I was able to do things for her which other men didn't do? And they had sex with her. Like, what the fuck? And I didn't even want to have sex with her because I had a woman in my life, I had a girlfriend, so I just did it because I wanted to have like kind of a female friend and I just wanted to hang out and have a good time. And I didn't even look at her as like a mate or uh, actually, I was not looking at her like somebody whom I actually want to date to begin with. I was just like, okay. Let's just go out, have fun, have a friend like that. That's why when she used to have a man, I didn't care. 